Hello, I'm Buddha Fem, and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new, thanks for checking out this video. Hopefully, by the end of it, you'll be a subscriber. If you're already a subscriber, thanks for checking out another one. And this is another one of my daft fun experiments where we uh, pit two teams against each other with a bit of money and send them on a race. You can write down in the comments who you think is going to win, uh, and we'll see what happens at the end. I love doing stuff like this. It's just a bit of fun, dead easy to make, uh, and hopefully you enjoy as much as I do. If you're from Sheffield, you might you might notice this is Sheffield behind me. Now, I used to work here quite a lot in my old job as an engineer. I used to come to Sheffield train station quite a lot fixing things. Um, and I quite like the city. I've been there when the World Snooker Championships was on. That's where it is played every single year. Um, I know a bit about its history. It used to be the big steel city. Um, it's not really anymore. Um, but it's still a, a decent place. I like Sheffield. But what I do like is the two football teams. Um, and like, I used to work all over the country, so whenever I'd like a day off and I was staying there, I'd always go and visit football stadiums. So I've been to, I've been to Sheffield United, I've been to Hillsborough as well, uh, Sheffield Wednesday Stadium. But growing up, especially at my age, especially in like the 90s and so on, not so much Sheffield United, because they weren't always up there, but Sheffield Wednesday were one of the big teams. And there's some great players, they used to be in cup finals. I remember back in the day when they had FA Cup, um, semis and so on. They used to play them at different grounds and they'd always play them at Hillsborough because Hillsborough was one of the best stadiums back then. Um, and also it fascinates me that the oldest team in Sheffield is Sheffield but it's neither of these two. I always wonder why the oldest club in the world never became a big club. Now I'm going to Google that and find that out. Why? If you're from Sheffield write down in the comments how did United on Wednesday overtake the oldest club? Why didn't that become a big club? I'm intrigued. Um, but I also love the fact that they play, they kind of remind me like the, the, the uh, Yorkshire AC Milan and Inter Milan, do you know what I mean? Like they both play in strike kits, one plays in red and white, the other plays in uh, blue and white. I love that. Uh, I know there's a lot of rivalry from working there, talking to United fans and so on, and Wednesday fans. They're both going to have a little increase in the reputation, just a touch, so that they obviously the most highest repped teams in the championship because money does bring reputation because they're gonna be able to say right we've got all this money come join us now so they are the two highest rep teams just in the championship they've both got roughly 400 million in the bank the chairmans have decided to pump the fortunes into the club uh, and that's it new training facilities yeah new training facilities and that is it. What we're going to do is, we're going to have a race here, guys, and we're going to see who can win a major trophy first. Now, you never know with this kind of thing. They both could just get in the Premier League, buy all these great players, and it'd be very easy. But it doesn't always work out like that. I've said this before. I've done other things like this um, with different databases, and I've seen teams that I've given a lot of money to, especially my American Premier League database, go down like three divisions. Who wins? Who gets the major trophy first? Comment down below, have a bit of fun, test yourself. I have no idea. Let's find out. Now, I might have made a lie. One teensy little bit of a lie when I said they're the only changes I've made. I thought this time, unlike with my Battle of the Dons with Wimbledon and MK Dons, I thought, let's at least give them a heads up. Let's imagine if they brought this money in, they're going to have brought in the big time coach. So both teams have signed unemployed managers. Unemployed great managers. Now, I don't know if these guys are going to stay, but at least they might put the club in the right footing. They might have the pulling power to bring in some quality to get him into the Premier League. And I've given Sheffield United Carlo Ancelotti. Imagine that, eh? Now, you've got to think of it. They've got some money. They've decided they're going to invest. They've got a great fan base, big stadium. They've got to Carlo and said, Look at this project. And he said, Oh, that excites me. Awesome. So they've got Carlo Ancelotti. Now obviously they play at Bramall Lane, which is a 32,000 seat stadium. It's a great stadium, I love the look of it. Uh, it's getting on a bit as well. Built in 1855. Wow! Is it really that, is it really that old? That's insane. Um, so obviously they've got state-of-the-art training facilities, um, state-of-the-art youth facilities, extensive youth recruitment, top corporate facilities, um, sweet, uh, four-year deal. Now. That's another thing I've done. Um, I did it on the MK Dons one. Um, what I've done is I've given one sponsorship deal each that just in case the 400 million runs out, they're guaranteed to get 50 million a season. 
um, from the stadium sponsorship. Think of it as, like Manchester City, their chairman is a super billionaire and he sponsors the own team with his own companies to generate extra revenue. So that's what the chairman have done. They're both going to be pumping an extra 50 million quid guaranteed into the club every year that will hopefully help buy an extra player. Um, and then if they get in the Premier League, then wow, they're going to get the Premier League money, an extra 50 million, and they should be able to keep competing. So obviously, this is their actual squad, I've not put any players in. Uh, the best player is John Fleck. Do you remember him? He's going to be like the next Wayne Rooney or something. Big promise uh, of being superstar. But yeah, if you can see by the value, they've not got the, uh, most, the most outstanding squad. Probably not even the best in the Championship right now, but that'll probably change by the start of the season. It's going to be interesting to see who they buy. Let's just finish up by looking at their history. Now, they have actually won the top flight division. It says a Premier League, but it's, it's going to be the old first division, but it's still top flight. And four FA Cups, so that is still a history to be proud of. There's a lot of teams out there that have never won anything. So, a uh, fair play to Sheffield United. Are they going to be the first team to win a major trophy, though? Are they going to be the first team to add to that? I'll have to find out. Next up is their arch rival, and it's Sheffield Wednesday. Massive team. I've got to be honest, I know they've gone back to that old logo, but I'm, I'm still not 100% sold on it. It does look quite traditional, I know, but I, I'm still getting my head around that logo. If I'm honest, do you know what I mean? Um, they're obviously not playing stripes anymore, and I always remember them playing in stripes. Has that changed? If you're a Sheffield Wednesday fan, let me know. Um, but I've given them Lewis Enrique, another top class manager, a bit younger than Carlo, but he's a good manager, he's got great stats on the game. Um, and he's currently unemployed at the start of FM18. So again, we've got a club manager. They've said to him, yeah, mate, big transfer kit, we've got big hopes for this club, get us in the Premier League, we're having a race with Sheffield United here, we need to win it. So he's determined to do it now. They've got a bigger stadium, Hillsborough, it's 39,000, so it's got, wow, it's a big stadium, bigger than a lot of Premier League grounds, look at Bournemouth and so on, Huddersfield. Um, so they've got the base and the foundation to go massive. Onto the facilities, now obviously they play at Hillsborough, a very famous stadium for different reasons. Um, massive stadium as well. Again, like I said, I remember watching FA Cup semi-finals there. I remember thinking it was amazing. I still think it is, it's quite traditional looking now because obviously other stadiums have been more modernised or rebuilt and so on. Um, but the, the, it'd be interesting. I like, I'd like Hillsborough to be a big stadium again. Do you know like an important stadium again? Um, built in 1899, so it's a lot younger than Bramall Lane. Um, again, you can see the facilities, they've got all the same facilities um, as Sheffield United, so hopefully they can attract better players with that. They can make the players they've got better and obviously get better regens as the years go on, because again, this could go on for years, we don't know. And here's the squad, and if you just judge it off value, they've got a lot more higher value players than Sheffield United. So personally, I think maybe Sheffield Wednesday do have the edge, at least to start off with. They're not. They've not got as many players maybe to buy. I don't know. Their money might go further. We'll have to wait and see. You never know, dear. And this is what I like about stuff like this. Um, the best player is Forrest Thierry. He's worth nine and a half million. Um, and they've got some famous names there, to be fair. Names are no, anyway. Uh, they've got Barry Bannon. Kevin Westwood. He's a decent keeper on here at this level. So it's going to be interesting to see how these managers attack it, how the clubs attack it. Let's have a quick look at Wednesday's history. You've got to admit, it's slightly better the United's, they've won four top flight leagues, all first divisions, but four Premier Leagues, and three FA Cups, uh, and a League Cup. So, on oh, Chariot Shield and that, but is, I'd say it's slightly better. Again, are they gonna win the race? Will they be the first team to add to that history? So we're here with a season preview for the very first season now. Obviously, I've given them both the best reputations in the league, but a lot of things come into play, not just club rep, players you've got, etc. So. Sheffield Wednesday, with the higher rep in the squad, they've got to be made favourites, actually, to win the league. Uh, Sheffield United are fifth. They've got Carlo Ancelotti as the manager. He's got some pulling power. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to holiday the first year and just have a look at who they initially borrowed at money in the championship. Uh, and then we'll go on and just see how it goes. I'll see how I feel as we go along and try and bring you little bits of information until someone wins a race. Again, I keep saying it. Write down below in the comments who's going to win, Wednesday or United. It's been one year and neither team made it. Surprisingly, Sheffield Wednesday, they were favourites to win it, had Luis Enrique as a manager and 400 million to spend, finished the season 18th. Sheffield United finished it in 6th, uh, which obviously was a playoff place, but they didn't obviously make it. But that's surprising, that, isn't it? 
Let's see what's happened. Let's see who they bought. And we've still got the managers. Well, we'll start here with Wednesday. And no, Luis Enrique is gone. And I'm not surprised he's given this big budget. Um, and he was appalling, wasn't he? He's appalling. They've now got Gerardo Martino as the manager. Um, let's have a quick look at what happened. So here we are on the manager's screen. And he lasted 145 days and got sacked. Won four games, drew six, lost ten. Wow. Um, and they had a caretaker manager. And they've had Gerardo Martino for 208 days. He won 11. He's drawn eight and he uh, lost eight. Let's have a look at the transfers. So they spent 23 million quid. Um, and the majority of them was in the winter. So no wonder he didn't do well. Luis Enrique brought in Eunice Kaboom. All on. All that money to spend. No wonder he didn't do well. Why Why didn't he spend it? Um, and then new managers come in. Signed Eunice Cabrillo from his long deal, so he must have done well. Uh, and brought in another five players. Danny Ward, decent keeper. He's at Uddersfield, wasn't he? Last year. Uh, Charlie Austin. I bet he's good in the championship. Leroy Fur as well. He's decent as well, especially for the championship. On loan, obviously. Um, but we'll have to see what they do this summer because I'm a bit shocked by that. Over to Sheffield United in the first year and they've kept Carlo. He's not done bad. I mean, he probably had a harder job than Lewis in the UK and he's done a lot better. Maybe that's him as a manager, um, I don't know. Um, but let's have a look at his transfers. Well, Carlo spent a lot more money and again, he spent the majority of it in the winter window. Um, he brought in one player, Elliot Bennett from Blackburn, and a couple of freebies. And that was it. So he's done a good job. I mean, in the winter though, he did spend a lot of money. He brought in Ryan Shawcross for a bucket load from Stoke, top player in the championship, that. Ashley Young, who's decent, uh, Jody Jones, Andy Carroll, if you stay fit. I mean, some good players there. It's about 46 and a half million quid. Surely, that's a good base now. Another summer of spending. And they've got to be at least getting in the Premier League. At least Sheffield United, surely. Well then, here we are a year later, and I was right. Sheffield United did get in the Premier League, and they won the league. But not only that, so did Sheffield Wednesday. They came second. West Ham must have won the uh, playoff. So fair enough. I mean, only a game in it. Only a game in it. Sheffield Wednesday lost one. Uh, more games, sorry, than Sheffield United. That's good, isn't it? So they've obviously spent big. But they've still got the same managers. And we'll start with Wednesday. They've still got Gerardo Martinez. So he's come in. He stayed the ship last year after Luis Enrique's shit show. Um, and he's still in charge. And he might not have won the league. He might have been beaten to the post, or whatever you want to call it, by uh, Sheffield United. But he's still done a good job. How did he do it? Hello. Uh, lots of money. He spent lots and lots and lots and lots of money. Uh, brought in 10 million quids worth. So that's not too bad. But I'm not bothered about that. I'm going to arrange this for you. He spent 154 million on, on a, a new squad. Ruben Neves from Wolves. I mean, Kachunga from Huddersfield. Some of these guys, Cardoso, he's decent in, you know. He's decent. Uh, from Rangers. I mean, Ben Davies. I mean, a lot of these names I don't know. He's, he's, he's definitely raided like Europe, Germany, teams like Frankfurt, Ajax, Malmo, Rosenberg. But whatever he did, it's worked. On to Sheffield United and Carl Ancelotti has gone. Um, I'd be interested to see, did he win the league? And then leave. Um, but they've now got Giovanni. What is it with these names? I've never heard of him to be fair. An Italian called Giovanni. Fair play. He's their new manager. Let's find out. Well, and no, Carlo Ancelotti left not long after we last joined him and saw him as Sheffield United manager. He left at the start of the season, went to Arsenal. Uh, and Giovanni's come in and won the league. So well done to him. Let's see what he spent in the transfer market. So, not as much, nearly half as much. There's Wednesday and he's won the league. So this club's getting run a lot better, I think. They've done better over the last two years and spent a lot less money. And um, they brought in eight million. Um, here we go with their ins. Let's arrange the fee again. And have a look at some of these players. Emerson from Chelsea. Ashley Barnes and Always, he's a good player. Uh, Mario Pasale, who's he now? I recognise his name, but oh, he's good in him, he's all right. Uh, Joe, John Flanagan. I mean, again, they've, they've raided some random European countries, Rosenberg, Benfica, you've got a Seville, they've got a player down here from Milan, a lad from Real Madrid, he's got on loan, third place. So he's got a lot of loans there, but he did spend 85 million quid. And again, now they're in the Premier League, 
big time money, coupled with what the club is now. This is when it starts to get serious. This is where things will hopefully change. So I'm going to keep going forward until someone wins the competition. So again, challenge yourself. You've seen now what's happened. Maybe you've changed your mind. Maybe you put Wednesday and you're thinking, nah, Sheffield United are doing business a lot better. Welcome to 2024. It's been five years since I last saw you and we do finally have a winner. Now they have been to a few cup finals, I think, but finally someone's won. Is it the team you picked? Is it the team you support? Um, we'll start off with a winner and we'll see what happened. The winner was Chef Beale Wednesday. Uh, they didn't win a European Cup like um, in the MK Don slash Wimbledon battle. Uh, they won the FA Cup. They just won it. Uh, Tim Howard is the manager. Random things happen on Football Manager when you go into the future. I love that about the game. Um, it's been a long time. They've never left the Premier League. They've done okay. If we have a look when they got promoted uh, back in, what was it, 18, 19 season or whatever. Uh, they finished 13th, 15th, 8th, 9th and 8th. But they're a steady Premier League team now. They haven't expanded Hillsborough, um, but they did win. Here we are on the landmark page and you'll see here, Ruben Neves got appointed as their captain, all the captain stuff. Now they actually, last year, lost the FA Cup final. Um, and then, oh, their chairman, Mr. Richman has decided to scale down the funding apparently. But you know what? It didn't affect him because they got back to the FA Cup final the year after and they won it. And if we have a look at the history of the FA Cup, they got to the final last year and got beat by Manchester United. Got to the final this year and beat Manchester City. Hey, as a United fan, I love that. But if you keep looking back at the history, Sheffield United nearly won it. Sheffield United got to the final and played Manchester United and lost. Let's have a look at the Wednesday squad right now and look at the values of some of these players. They've got some big time players now. Um, obviously, some of them are going to be regions, but Ryan Sessignon is their most high value player. Um, sometimes I've seen him become good, sometimes they haven't. Has he become good on this database? Yeah, good player, isn't he? Um, so again, yeah, Ruben Nevers is still there. They're obviously a good side. I mean, is that Nicholas Su Wow, yeah, they've got some good players. So if we have a look here, he's been in the job for a year, so obviously, he won that FA Cup. Must Javi Garcia maybe lost the last one. He was in the job for two years. Uh, you had Sean Dyche as well. He was in the job for a year. He got sacked. Martino ended up getting sacked. Um, maybe this chairman, I don't know what he's like. I didn't, I didn't change him. I don't know much about him. But he puts pressure on his boys. Don't know if he's not successful after a year or so. But Javi Garcia probably got um, the longest time in the job. Or maybe Martino as well. Two years. But you don't give him a lot of time, does he? You're not successful, you're out the door. Let's just quickly go through the kind of money they spent over the last five years since I last saw you. So this is the next transfer budget after the one you last saw. That's when they bought Ryan Sessignon for a lot of money. They spent 94 million that year. And um, wow, and brought in two million. The next year they spent 129 million. But Dolberg, he's a good young player. And uh, can turn out really good on this game. Next year, 135 million. So just they've kept on spending, haven't they? The chairman's been back here. No longer, no, no wonder. Jesse Lingard, really? Uh, no wonder he's got to that point now where he's gone now. Nah, I've, I've, we've spent up here. I've put, I've put too much money into this. He's won his FA Cup. Um, loaned out three players to Salford. Nice one. Uh, the year later, 119 million. Virgil Van. Is he really? How old is he now? 32. Still a good player. Fair play. Uh, next year they spent a hundred million. So they spent and spent and spent. This year so far they've spent fifty million. So United may have lost. I, I, I kind of thought the way it started, I thought they were going to win, and they nearly did. They got to the FA Cup final. Unfortunately, lost it. Um, have to see what else they go up to. They've now got George Sam Paul. Uh, what? Uh, George as their manager. But when it comes to managers, um, Giovanni came in. Do you remember he got him promoted, and then they sacked him. And they brought this fella in now, George, and he's been in the job for four years, so they've backed this guy. He's obviously done okay. And if we go back to the main screen, that's when they got promoted. Obviously, they won the league. Wednesday came second. The next year, they finished 15th, 6th, 7th, 7th, 5th. So they finished consistently probably higher than Wednesday. So they've done better in the league. And here we are on the landmarks page. So obviously, let's go through it quick. So obviously, FA Cup runners up. Is that it? Is that it? So the chairman left 
So maybe he's the guy who was impatient, sat the manager. New guy, Rob Crane, came in. Got a bit more patience, maybe. Onto their squad. And they've got a player worth 105 million quid. What? Really? Bruno has got to be a regen. He is a regen. And what a regen. Hey? Eh? Back to the squad. I love a regen. I love a regen. Best thing about this game. Uh, but they've got Moise Keane, who's good. Jonathan Tarr, they've got some good players. I'm surprised they haven't won it here, you know. So let's go through the transfers again. This is the year after you last saw it, like I did with Wednesday. So they spent 176 million that third proper year in the Premier League. But Ben Gibson. He's a good striker, isn't he? Bought him from Chelsea. No, he's not right. Thought it'd be better than that. They bought, they've got Joe Hart on a free. Joe Hart. Uh, next year they spent 179 million. Brian Brian Bolo, is he still there? No, he's now at Monaco, but he's a top young player. Alex Merritt, good young keeper, he's still there. So you know what, they spent alright there, didn't they? Uh, next year 200 million, so they spent big. Big, big time spenders, aren't they? Um, again, some good players. Next year 156 million. That's the year they bought, bought Moise King from Lazio. Wow. Year after, 267 million. Bloody hell shit. I'm, so, I'm surprised they haven't failed financial fair play. I mean, come on. Is it because of, they've been in maybe Europe more than Wednesday? No. Uh, and then, is that this year so far? They've spent 169 million. Well, there we go. Hopefully, you enjoyed the Steel City battle. Um, did you get it right? Can't wait to get looking at some of you if you comment anyway. Uh, now, I'm not going to make it available, but if someone asked me to, I will. If you want to jump in now in the year 2024 and you fancy just having a bit of fun with one of these two teams, and especially after you've seen some of their players, let me know and I'll make it available. But I'm only going to do it if someone asks for it. And maybe you want to start at the beginning um, when they're both in the championship for the same money. You want to try out the race for yourself if you're a Wednesday or United fan, or you just fancy having a go of it. Again, I like giving people options of trying different things out. So again, I won't do it unless I'm asked for it. If someone asks me for it. I'll make it available, I'll put it in the description, a link for the download, and I'll comment back to your comment and just say, yeah, mate, I've made it available. So, as always, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure you smash that like button. If you're brand new, feel free to subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Go and check out all my other content. There'll be loads more coming as the weeks roll on. I've got a new series coming. I've got my current series with Manchester Central. Please check them out. Hopefully you enjoy it all. Hopefully you enjoyed this. It's a great day. I'm gonna go out and walk my dog. I've been booed. You've been great. I'll see you next time.